Stuff. Justin Espino, I'm promotions coordinator for Dimple Records. My name is Willie Hines. I am the sole proprietor of Replay Records, uh, a known icon used record store in Northern California, specifically located in Stockton, California. 30 years. 20 years. Uh, decided if I was going to go work for an idiot, might as well go work for myself. Well, I know when Tower was first closing, a lot of people thought that we were going to get a lot of their business. But just talking to the owners and stuff and looking at the numbers, they don't really think that that happened. A lot of people either just went to, you know, go to Best Buy or just continue buying stuff online. So yeah. well, we did get some of them, but, you know, not a whole lot. Well, it's interesting. Yeah, Virgin Megastore, Warehouse, uh, Tower, yeah, yeah. Out, outlived them all. Um, has an impact in my business. It's an interesting phenomenon. I uh, would say that obviously a little bit more business has come my way, but with the advent of iPod downloading, etc., there's a certain market that just bypasses what I do. But at the same time, I'm, I'm thriving. Okay. I'm still right here. You're talking to me, aren't you? Um, well, of course, I mean, that leads to CD sales everywhere, including our company being down. Um, and new CDs, and we still sell a lot of used CDs. And what we're trying to do to counteract the, you know, the down, downgrade in the CD sales um, is just bringing new things, trying other things like trying to sell a lot more video games now, um, focusing a lot more on DVDs and Blu-ray, and just anything that we think that will sell, like, you know, small, small item gift trends and things like that. So, what we have now is we have a, um, a kiosk that the, uh, that the uh, employees can access, where they can actually, if something's out of print or we don't have, we can actually burn burn a CD in the store for the customer. So, got it. Um, two things: download it, you cheap bastards. <coughs> um, you got your little burn CD, you got your little MP3 with the little tweezed out compression. That shit sucks, okay? Let's just be honest here. Um, and how about liner notes? How about the graphics that the artist went to a great deal of work to produce? You know, you're missing the point if you think it's just all about track two, track four. It's about the art. It's like a book. It's it's the presentation. I mean, Led Zeppelin fought for like five months to get the colors right on Houses of the Holy. And now it's on this little pissant five-inch little cover. Who cares, right? Well, a lot of people care. And um, my, my business for being here and thriving is I'm a record store. I sell records. DVDs are the most disposable unit I've ever seen in the history of my career. I've been doing this for 20 years plus, kids. And DVDs seem to be the most disposable medium I've ever witnessed. You know, it's it's twenty nine ninety five when it comes out. Okay, it's nineteen ninety five at Target or Best Buy. In three weeks, it's six dollars. So that's disposable. Whereas with the record community, I'm selling Electric Prunes reissues on one hundred eighty gram vinyl for twenty dollars, and I'm making a nice profit. So I think. We may be reverting back to the original old school values. I digress, but that's where I'm going. Just, um, well, we're still trying to get those people. I mean, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're trying to figure out ways to draw them into and coming physically to the store, you know, to buy CDs. So, so, so I mean, what, what would you uh, tell them? About this story, what, ma <laughs> what makes it uh, better to buy it here than on the internet? Well, I mean, just actually getting out of the house and coming physically and looking for CDs. I think that's part of the experience that you don't get by just you know going online and just you know tagging going onto a website. I mean, it's all about you know the physicality of it. I'd say and okay. it's more personal when you come and interact with people and you know try to find the CD in the store than 
It's nicely self-contained. All you little shitheads that wanted to buy emo core, screamo crap from As I Lay Dying from Autumn to Ashes, kiss my ass, okay? My Chemical Romance. You suck. All right, now, here's the deal. Led Zeppelin, <clears throat> The Beatles, The Rolling Stones. This is not nostalgia, children. This is the real deal. This is why people still buy this stuff. This is why the Beatles catalog is still 1895 because it deserves to be. Smashing Pumpkins, yeah, in 10 years, five bucks. Hell, five bucks now. My point is not to discern upon certain cultures. I'm just trying to tell you that there's a certain <clears throat> value. And <clears throat> I'm one of the few purveyors of that value, which is, I'm not short attention span theater. It's not about track two, track three. It's not about downloads. It's not about that pissant compression that comes with your MP3. You know, that's bullshit, okay? That's, that's, that's not music. That's convenience. That's not your mom making a turkey dinner. It's microwave. Address the issue. My point is, I'm old school and I address that issue. And I am predominantly about sonic quality and things that last. Okay, I could be the dinosaur in the marketplace, but I doubt it. I've outlived Tower Virgin Warehouse. Sue me. Next question. Oh, no, no, in fact, they're talking. We're, okay. still, we're opening a brand new vinyl store, actually, just oh. in a few weeks. Just on Great. The side, so. It's good to hear there. Not to me. I plan on being the uh, cockroach that never goes away. Uh, plus, I love my job. I love sharing <clears throat> music with people. From Shostakovich to Brick Benton. From P Funk to Metallica, I, I, you know it's 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 all good. It's music, so I plan on being here as sort of your tour guide. However, the economic factor does play in. If I can't pay my bills, I'm history. So far, so good. Um, Honestly, uh, right now, independence. Independence. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we saw a whole lot of like barrier rap. Okay. As out of this store, chain wide. I mean, chain wide. Yeah, I'm still saying independent. And we do sell like a lot of Messy Marv and uh, San Quan. My homeboy Crisis, Petty yeah. Cash is Hell cracking. Yeah. You dig this Quinn representing this done deal. You name artists like Eminem. I mean, we do well with certain ones like that. But I mean, I would much prefer to have 20 records that are five dollars a piece. In other words, give me those Led Zeppelin records that I can sell for six, seven dollars a piece. Give me a hundred of those versus one record that's worth five hundred dollars because I can have this amazing two thousand dollar Beatle album on my shelf and I will look at it for two years, okay? That's not profit. It's cool, it's artistically, you know, it's, it's nice, it adds character. But I'd rather have 20 records that I can sell for five bucks that's called profit margin and cash flow. That's what a business does. I'm not some sort of rock and roll hall of fame museum. I'm here to make money. <clears throat> Given that, there are two things you can always count on in an investment on used vinyl. The Beatles and Bob Dylan and obviously your obscure psychedelic 60s stuff. But Ironically, Elvis has left the building, literally and figuratively. He is no longer the great cash cow that he used to be. Uh, so I would put my money on the Beatles, obscure psychedelica, and early bebop jazz. Point being that what I do is sort of like baseball cards and comic books. I'm a little secret little niche. I have had DJ Shadow and Z Trip and a lot of internationally renowned DJs come to my store buy up like thousands of dollars for the vinyl. I've also had just guys coming through that just will buy up from Herbie Hancock to the Carpenters. I sell more records to this day than I do DVDs and CDs combined. 